What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin. Now in my last video I talked about the how I was going to go over the buffs and changes and stuff of all the characters. So that's what we are doing in this video. So um, yeah, make sure you guys uh, like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below and let's get into it. So starting out, we're going to be talking about Demon Meliodas. So um, let me go ahead and find him. Right there. Alright, Demon Meliodas. So... Uh, Rank 1 deals 180% damage to a single enemy and ignites for 3 turns. Deals 180% damage to single enemies to single enemies and grants ignition for 3 turns. I'm not really sure what the what that means. Oh, okay, so this isn't the, this isn't the change. That didn't change. This is deals 270% damage to a single enemy grants two ignition effects for four turns whoa that's double the if you guys don't know what ignition does ignition what grants like 10 percent more damage or something like that right um here i can actually look real quick yeah so ignition um increases damage to the target by 10 percent can stack so um pretty much that's going to um grant 20 percent damage That'll be 20% damage, right? That's crazy. Um, rank 3, deal 450% damage and grants 3 ignition stacks for 5 turns. So pretty much, it'll be 30% damage on that one. Uh, passive change to 50% critical chance by the number of ally heroes killed to increase base, wait, increase base critical chance from 15% to 50. What? Wait, so, okay, so, they kind of nerfed his passive. So, instead of him getting 50% increased chance, which pretty much made his crit chance 65, um, his critical chance just goes from 15 to 50. So, it did get nerfed by 15%. Um, I mean, it's not too bad, but, alright. Moving on to, uh, now we're going to be talking about Kane. Right, the, uh, the R unit, yeah, the R unit came. Right, um, fire, well, flame, what? <laughs> fire flame came. Uh, deals 180% damage to a single enemy and grants ignition for three turns. It's the same thing as Meliodas, right? Ignition for two turns, or two ignition for four turns, three ignition for five turns. So it's the exact same thing as Meliodas. Fine. Um, second ability, 180% damage to a single enemy grants. Ignition for three turns releases. Okay, so now they um Wait, what? Oh Okay, so his last one grants two ignition effects for four turns. So that's the difference. All right, so that's pretty much Kane Nothing crazy. Uh, you're not you don't use him like You don't use him in combat. You simply use him in the as the fourth on your team um, For red demon and gray demon so yeah, there's that. Um, moving on to Paladin Hendrickson. I'm pretty sure that's the blue Hendrickson, right? That's this one. I'm pretty sure that's him. Anyways, um, let me let me make sure. Let me make sure, cause I don't want to be wrong. Hendrickson. No, that's not that one. That's I, that's probably the SR one, right? Paladin Hendrickson. Wait, then what Hendrickson is this? Okay, no, it is the blue Hendrickson. My bad. All right, so anyways, uh, rank one. So pretty much they're just changing the ignite passive on all the... All these characters, so ignite, two ignite, three ignite. Same thing as Demon Meliodas, right? Which makes him a lot better, and Demon Meliodas a lot better. Uh, Ray Pierre Gila, which I'm pretty sure that's Red Gila. Yeah. So, um, or is it? No, it's not. It's a uh, Blue Gila, the SR Gila. So, um, the SR Gila, 
is getting a buff as well. I mean, I don't really use her, but hey. Um, deals 80% ignite, ignite, and then two ignite. So pretty much it's just adding the ignite buffs all automatically. Um, and then uh, release all enemy positions inflicting, well, release all enemy positions inflict 280% damage, grant two ignite. So instead of ignite, it grants two ignite now on her um, ultimate. And then on one of her abilities, instead of ignite at level three, it grants two ignite. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, moving to the next guys, all right. Um, Passive changes for following characters. Pal Paladin uh, Gustav increased penetration stat from 10% to 30%. That's a really big buff. Paladin Jericho. Uh, strength attribute allied heroes attack powers increased by 10%. Strength at the <laughs> boot. What? Uh, strength attribute allied heroes attack related. Okay, so instead of giving them attack power increased by 10%. The attack cards are increased by 10%. If that makes sense to you guys. Okay. New generation Jericho. So this is the um blue one. So wait, the um So the green Jericho didn't get touched pretty much. Alright. Uh so these are the two SR Jerichos. Uh Paladin Guild Thunder. This is Blue Guild Thunder, the SR one. Speed attribute increases armor of all ally heroes by 50%. Speed attribute increased armor of allies here. Okay, so everyone from 50 to 60. Nice, nice, nice. All right, uh, Paladin Dreyfus. This is the SR one as well. Um, allied heroes with strength attribute gain 60% armor instead of 50 as well. Um, Templar Alioni. I don't even know who Alioni is. Alioni is, um, isn't he the. Alioni is this guy, if you guys don't know. Where's he at? See, now I'm lost. Where are you at, bro? Well, here, I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. This this guy right here is Alioni, right? Boom, okay? So, you have fun with that. Um, anyways, now that we got that out the way, um, Twigo, strength attribute, increases ally hero's health by 30%. Marma's speed attribute increased allied heroes by 30%. Gillian stamina attribute the health of allied heroes increased by 30%. So most of these are we don't care. I mean some people might care, but these are all like SRs. We don't care about that. Anyways, ignition, 10% damage taken from targets can stack. So pretty much he put that in chat just in case people didn't know what ignition was. But anyways, um speaking more on Demon Meliodas. Demon Meliodas has continued and continued to get buffed. It seems like they want, it seems like when they dropped him, they wanted him to be like one of the best units out, but he wasn't, come to find out. So now they're just continuously buffing him to make him one of the best units out. And he's starting to get there because like not only have you increased his damage significantly, right? On rank two, you increase the damage by 20%. On rank three, it's by 30%, right? Which is disgusting. De like, that is actually disgusting, seeing how much damage Mel Demon Meliodas puts out already. Not to mention, um, his ultimate applies weakness, and he can crit. So it's like, th those things are just building up on top of each other over and over and over. Now, yeah, they kind of they kind of nerfed this passive um, by 15%, because... It's not 65% anymore. It just goes to 50%. But the thing about that is um, most people are going to build um, some crit chance in there anyways. On top of without the crit chance, like he's already doing dumb damage. He is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. He is going to be a unit that you have to look out for now. I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, you you definitely have to look out for him now because... He, he he's definitely gonna make a comeback. I know a lot of people built him. Shout out to Kabuki. I know Kabuki got him the seventy, like thirty five thousand CP or thirty thousand CP. He he got him up there, right? He he bought his item, all of that, right? So with that being said, yeah, might want to look out for him because he 
he definitely I have an Elaine on my team and he could definitely one shot my lane. Uh well and I do have a defense. I, I do have a defense buff. So maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. But um Yeah, you guys definitely need to watch out for him. But anyways, uh I mean Hendrickson too, but nobody really uses him. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below that being said. I will see you guys next time. Peace.